I confirm that the official statement dated 28th of September 2021 was issued by me. I apologize for going off the radar for a few days. I simply needed time to breathe and to process everything that had just transpired. I also extend my gratitude to all those who expressed concern over my safety and well-being. I am here, I am alive, and I am safe. Thank you very much. Let me also share a few sentiments that I have harbored for quite some time. As a shy and socially awkward person, the past two months have been difficult for me, which has been exacerbated by my involvement in the ongoing investigations where I was invited as one of the resource persons. While testifying before the Senate Blue Ribbon Committee last September 13, 2021, I was questioned about the, the specifics of Farmali's first contract with PSDBM. It was extremely traumatic for me. To be accused of lying and threatened with contempt. And true to their threat, they already arrested one of our executives. Personally, I was perplexed on how I could be perceived as a liar when I was simply answering questions directly based on the information that was reflected on our records. And I even willingly submitted the documents upon request. And after I relayed the sequence of events for that specific contract, one thing that stood out the most was the reaction to the advanced delivery, which included disparaging remarks like, parang grab lang. I do recognize that each and every one of us are entitled to our own interpretation and reaction to every revelation made during the hearings. And while I personally agree that delivery made before issuance of a purchase order was unusual, we should not overlook the fact that this took place during an unprecedented time. I personally struggled to purchase face masks at that same time for personal use. And I am certain that majority of the Filipino people also relate to this experience, most especially our frontliners. Furthermore, and on a more personal note, I tested positive for COVID-19 during the course of the hearings, which resulted in a decline in my physical and emotional health. Additionally, the overwhelming pressure and the intense scrutiny of the investigations have had a detrimental effect to my mental health. Over and above this, my personal mobile number and even my current place of address were also revealed publicly. This violated my right to privacy as a private citizen and also resulted in unwanted harassment and even disturbing messages and calls. Moving on, and on a second point, I deny all allegations made by the un unidentified witness who appeared in a video presented by Senator Risa Antiveros on September 24, 2021. And please allow me to expound on that. Formerly Pharmaceutical Corporation, or PPC, has never delivered damaged items to the government, neither does it intend to. PPC conducts its routine quality inspections on the inventory prior to making deliveries. And it is in the conduct 
of these quality inspections that we were able to identify damaged face shields, um, which includes but not limited to dented, folded, torn or broken, and discolored face shields. Now, these damaged face shields were immediately segregated subject to proper disposal and therefore they were excluded for delivery. And moreover, when we received the inventory, it was already inconsistently packed to begin with, meaning that there were face shields packed individually and then there are also those in groups. And to make matters worse, we there was a significant number of um, packed face shields that we opened solely uh, for the purpose of removing the damaged items. And as a result, we ended up with an inventory so inconsistently packed, ranging from about six to 10 face shields per pack, in addition to the face shields that were individually packed. So I raised this concern to our management in a meeting sometime in August, 2021. And it has been decided to repack the stocks uniformly in groups of 10 face shields per packaging. This is for an easier and more efficient um, inventory management and accounting. And this is the same instruction that I gave to the warehouse personnel. And in the course of the repacking, um, the face shields, uh, the packaging, which had broken quantities, were merged together to form 10 pieces per packaging. And in the conduct of the repacking, um, the product certificates got mixed up and some were subsequently discarded because the staff only needed to put one, uh, one product certificate per packaging. No, kanina merong uh, uh, claim yung napanood nyo naman siguro yung video na pinalabas ni uh, Senator Ontiveros, di ba? And your name was commonly mentioned. How would you respond to that? Uh, Mr. Chairman, I would have to watch the video again because I believe there are a few or even more allegations that I'm not sure if I heard it correctly. But then with the regards to the changing of the stickers, of the um, of the items, um, my response would be that this was a supply concern. I raised this concern to our management, and that was the solution that was given to us. Con Mr. Chairman, with the permission, she therefore confirms that they actually were doing it. Yes, Mr. Chairman. Go ahead. Uh, That is something so that admitted. I cannot deny. <laughs> no, I, I, I just play, made a manifestation and uh, with the permission of the uh, Senator Lacson, uh, I'm just placing on record. She just admitted that they were actually switching the uh, expiry dates uh, uh, because that was, uh, as, my, as I understand, instructions of management. Palitan yung uh, expiry date from 2020 to 2021. Tama po ba yun? Yes, Mr. Chairman. That is something that I cannot deny. So you were swindling the government. Ms. Mago. I believe so, Mr. Chairman. Excuse me? I believe that is the case, Mr. Chairman. So you admit that the you and Parmali were swindling the government. They don't look on your own Pilipino. Nahuli ka na ni Senator Lacson. Nahuli ka na ni Senator Pangilinan. Nahuli ka na namin. Meron pa ako itatanong sa'yo. Baka lalong mahulog ka na dyan sa silya mo. As a follow-up, Mr. Chairman. Yes, go ahead, sir. I ordered you to give that instruction to the warehouse man. Since you admitted already that you gave the instruction, now, who instructed you to give that instruction? I suppose it was not uh in your uh, on your own initiative that you gave that instruction right 
Yes, Mr. Chairman. Um, oh, we, we the uh, instructions came from our management. Who? Particularly? Um, I received the instructions from the who uh, the PPC management, particularly Mr. Mohit Dergani. Mohit Dergani. Mohit. Yeah. Go ahead, Mr. Chairman. She said she said he received she received instructions from Mohit Gargani, sir. That means Mohit Gargani is now a principal also. Uh, yes, uh, Senator Pangilinan. Yes, with the permission of uh, Senator Lakson, were there other items apart from medical grade face uh, shields, uh, wherein you likewise were instructed to change the uh, expiry date? Uh, Ms. Uh, Maga? Uh, Mr. Chairman, if my memory serves me right, I believe it is only for this project, Mr. Chairman. Yes, that is if your memory serves you right. In other words, you could be wrong or your memory may be failing, but in fact there were others. You okay. are probably not sure, you don't know for a fact, um, please allow me some time to verify po, um, the details of our other projects and yes. um, words, I will get back yes. to you. Grace, yes. Grace, you're a Filipino. Yes, well, yes. Mr. Chairman. You're a Filipino. I think you're a good lady who wants to get up in life. Nasama ka dyan sa mga mayayaman na tao na kayang mabuhay na sarili nila. Ikaw, you're still struggling, I suppose. And you know, I have other evidence that I'm going to confront you with. So, kung pwede lang, Kung natin pahaba, and then sinasabi ng presidente na kami, mga nagluloko rito, walang mangyayari dito, sinungaling kami, uh, tumulong ka na sa bayan. Bayan na ang pinag-uusapan dito talaga iya. Yes, well, Mr. Chairman. I'm very willing to cooperate. Hindi ka natanong ni Mr. Pangilinan, Senator Pangilinan. Uh, 